Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're gonna look at how you can add solar data, like this up here in the corner, to your Conky. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've gotta give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So this was something that got uh, stirred up in the forums uh, a couple of weeks back. And uh, there's been a lot of back and forth with guys wanting to add different things to it. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways, but I'll also leave a link to the forum post so that you guys can go over there and join in the discussion. Maybe you want something that I'm not going to show here. That's a great place to go and research that. But I'm going to show you two different ones. Uh, now what you're looking at behind me right now is just a screenshot of my Raspberry Pi. But uh, the, on the screenshot, it's showing you some text display uh, data for various solar information. And then I've got another one that I'm going to cover after we do the first one that shows you how to pull in an actual image of the current solar data and have that displaying in Conky. Okay, so the first stop for this that we need to make is at my GitHub site, and that's github.com forward slash km4ack. Once you get to this page, you're going to look for the PyScripts repository. Now, if it's not right here on your particular screen, you may need to click repositories and then go through that list to find the PyScripts uh, repository. But I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to start scrolling down until I find this one that says Fetch Solar. We'll go ahead and click on it to open up that particular page. Now, this next uh, step is critical. If you miss this, none of this is going to work for you. Come down to where you see the Raw button, and we're going to click on this. And that will bring you into this screen here. Now, uh, real quick, I want to give a big shout out to Alex KD0YTE. Uh, he was kind of the one that wrote the initial script, and then I went in and made some changes of my own to create this one uh, with his permission. Uh, and guys have done uh, other things with the script to kind of uh, vary theirs up a bit, but this is my version. Uh, but after we get to uh, this screen, after we've clicked the raw button, I'm just going to go right up to the top address bar. I'm going to highlight that and copy it. Let's go ahead and move over to the Pi. We'll open up our terminal window. Now, I'm going to assume that everybody is running Build-A-Pi. Uh, if you're not, you might have to make a few tweaks to this. But with Build-A-Pi, we can go ahead and move to our bin directory. Let's use our uh, wget command, so wget space, and let's paste in that link that we just copied. We'll go ahead and hit return. Let me clear that screen, and I'm going to list out that directory. And you'll see this new file here called Fetch Solar. Now you'll also see another one that's Fetch Solar Image. We'll be getting to that one in a few minutes. But let's take a look at Fetch Solar right now. We do need to make that executable. So let's run ch, let me get my mouse out of the way there, chmod space plus x space Fetch Solar. And we'll go ahead and hit return. Now, if I run the ls command again, you'll see that fetch solar is in green, indicating that it's executable. So the first thing we want to run is fetch solar space help. And we'll go ahead and press return. It'll tell you that it's downloading a file and the help file is on your desktop. So we'll minimize this for a minute. And let's find that file on the desktop that says Solar Help. I'll go ahead and double click on that. And this file is going to give us all of the lines of text that we need uh, and tell us kind of where to go to find things and make the modifications uh, to Conky over here. So the first thing we need to do uh, now that we've got this open is we need to locate our Conky RC file. So I'm going to open up the browser. Uh, 
Notice I'm in my home directory, and that yours should open up here as well. I'm going to right click anywhere in a blank space down here, and I'm going to say show hidden. This file is a hidden file on the system. You'll see it right here. It's .conky RC. So I'm going to right click on that and say text editor. Now I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this window so it's out of the way and you should have two windows open. I don't want to cover up conky, but I do want to be able to bounce back and forth between these two particular files. Okay, so in the help file, it tells you that you're going to open the Conky RC file and we're looking for this particular line. So let's see if we can find that line in our Conky file. And you'll see that that line is right here. Uh, and that's indicated with the grid square word uh, in, in almost right in the middle of that particular line. Jumping back to the help file, uh, you'll see that it tells you right here that we're going to copy the following two lines to add to our Conky RC file. So now be careful because these lines uh, do actually extend past the edge of the screen. So make sure you get, you know, all of both of those lines. So I'm going to highlight both of those and I'm going to press Control C to copy. And we'll go ahead and jump back to the Conky RC file. So here's the line that we're looking for here. So I'm just going to come to the end of it and press return. And then I will press control V or Victor on my keyboard to paste in both of those lines. Now we don't want this blank line left here right now. It's going to mess up our formatting. So I'm just going to press backspace to get rid of that. And then I'm going to press control S to save this file. Now, when I save this file, watch over here, Conky is going to reload. We're not going to have all the data that we need yet, but you do see that it's reloaded. Let me move this over just a little bit, and you can see our new placeholders here for the information. We've got one more step to make this work. So I'm going to go ahead and close the Conky RC file for now, because that's all we need in it. I'm going to open this back up just real quick. We can right click in a blank area again and uncheck the show hidden. We really don't need those files being shown on a day to day basis. Now back to the solar help file. The last line here we need to enter into our cron tab. So I'm going to highlight that line and copy it with control C and we're going to head over to our terminal window. Now, in the terminal window, we're going to run crontab space hyphen e. And that's going to open up our cron folder. Come down to the bottom of that folder, or bottom of that file rather, and right click and say paste. That'll paste in that line that we just copied. Now, let's press control S on the keyboard. You'll get this indicator that it wrote the new lines and then control X to exit out of it. Now, every 60 minutes, it's going to grab the latest solar data. There's no reason to grab it any more often than every 60 minutes, because I think that's as often as it updates on the website. However, for this video, let's go ahead and run the script manually one time, just so we can see everything populate over here in Conky. So from the command line, I'm just going to run fetch, F-E-T-C-H, solar, and go ahead and press return, and that's it. Now, typically, you wouldn't see all of this data because it's going to be run in the background. If I minimize the terminal, though, you can see that our solar information has populated over here inside of Conky. Okay, so what if you want the solar image instead of just that uh, bit of solar data that's printed out in text? Well, let's take a quick look at how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, the file explorer and I'm going to come into the bin directory. Now, I didn't put this particular script on GitHub just because it's such a simple script. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new file. The file name that I'm going to give it is fetch-solar-image. 
and we'll say OK. Now I'm going to just uh, right click on that and say text editor. We'll just edit this in a regular old plain text editor. Now I am going to open up another file that I have here with all of the contents in it. It's literally four lines that we really need to worry about. Again, I'll leave uh, this information in the or a link to this information in the description below. But I'm simply going to copy this data and I'm going to paste it into this new file that I just created. Let me get that temporary file out of the way. Once you've pasted that in, press Control S to save that and let's go ahead and close out of that file. Now we want to right click on this new file because it's there but it's not executable and we got to make it executable real quick. So let's right click on it and say properties. Then let's come over to the permissions tab and right here where it says execute, currently it's set to nobody. Let's just set that to anyone and say OK. Once we've got that file in place and created, we've got to do a couple more things. First, we're going to set it to run in our cron tab. So I'm going to open the terminal cron tab space hyphen E. Go ahead and press return. And we need this particular line right here inside of the cron. And that's just going to tell it to run that script every 60 minutes. And again, there's no sense in running this uh, more than uh, once an hour. So once you uh, paste this line in here, let's press Control S and X to save it and exit out of the file. Now we can exit out of our terminal window. At this point, we need to go modify the Conky RC file. So we're going to open up our file explorer, right click in a blank area and say show hidden. Once we've done that, you'll find a file that says uh, dot or that's named dot conky rc. Let's right click on that and open it with a text editor. Now I've kind of left this file over on the left hand side of the screen so that we can watch what's going on in conky. Now, one of the things about using uh, the image instead of just the text is there's really not enough room in Conky uh, to be able to display everything. So what I'm going to do, I really don't care for this digital apps section here or the recent log entries. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get rid of both of these sections. I definitely want to keep the radio tools because these are things that typically run in the background and I don't have a visual indicator that they're running if I don't have this, uh, this section of Conky loaded. So in your Conky RC file, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. And I'm looking for the line that, be, or that has radio tools in it. You'll see that line right here. What I'm going to do is in front of that line and every line below it, I'm going to put the pound symbol. So I'm just going to come right down through the list and add that pound symbol to every single line. Now I'm going to press Control S uh, that will save this file. When I do, uh, Conky is going to reload. Once Conky reloads, whoops, I missed a file because I've still got the recent log entries. So I'm going to come on down in the Conky RC file and get those last two lines as well. Now, if we go ahead and press Control S, that should load up and leave us with a lot of blank space down here at the bottom. Now, right down here at the bottom of the file, somewhere beneath these last two lines, I am going to paste the following command. Now, again, I'll leave this command uh, in, in the link uh, in the description. What's important to note here is everything past the dash P, or at least the two numbers following the dash P. This is an XY reference. So when I press Control S, it's going to go ahead and load up the image. But you notice it's up at the top of the screen and it's behind uh, our call sign and our grid. And well, that's just not going to work for us. What I'm going to do is in the Conky RC file, I am going to change that second number and I'm just going to try something uh, first with maybe 260. 
I'm going to press Control S. Every time I press Control S, uh, I make a change and press Control S, it will cause Conky to reload. All right, we're getting closer. What I really want to do is I want to line the top of the image up with system right here because I want this solar data image to fall right below my clock. It's not quite down there far enough, so maybe I can change this to 280 in the Conky RC file and press Control S. But kind of what I want you guys to see is how you can play with these numbers to position this where you want it on your particular setup so you can customize it to suit your needs. Now, that looks pretty good because I can see the top of the image right below my clock. Now, everything else is out of whack, so we need to move everything else down. What I'm looking for now in the uh, Conky RC file is the line that has the system in it. And I am seeing that line right here. You'll see where it says system right there, and then uh, we've got the other lines below it. So right above that particular line, I'm going to insert 10 blank spaces, or 10 blank lines rather. Now if I press Control S again, we should see everything in Conky start to move down. All right, now 10 blank lines got us close, but that's still not quite right. So I'm going to insert two more blank lines in the Conky RC file and save that information out. And that looks pretty good. Uh, as you can see, the system uh, information right here starts just underneath the image. So that the layout of that looks good enough uh, for now. Now we do have a little bit of space left down here at the bottom. If you wanted to go back and add something back in, you could certainly do that. For me, I think I'm going to leave mine right like this. Now, one word of caution before we wrap this up. If you use the Conky Prefs link in the main pie menu uh, to change something inside of Conky, it's going to overwrite all of your custom settings. So keep that in mind. Of course, that's also a great way if you mess something up to get back to square one so you can try again. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's see your solar data information in Conky. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.